Hello and welcome to the latest episode of How to Draw Awesome Animals with your friends at Peppermint Narwhal. This is the video series where we teach you how to draw animals in a fun and simple way while sharing facts about the species as we go. So today's animal that we're going to be drawing is an interesting one. It is the platypus. And the platypus is uh, what's known as a very primitive mammal. It's actually known as a monotreme. And it, we'll talk a little bit about some of the fascinating things about this animal, but as you can see, there's its common name. And in the parentheses, you'll see its scientific name. And then below that, you see it's unfortunately near threatened and populations have been declining. So we definitely have some conservation work once again to do for this species. So let's go ahead and get this out of the way and we'll go ahead and get started with the drawing today. And again, I'm gonna be using pencil and paper as my drawing sort of method. You're free to use what you prefer most. I'll go ahead and get started on the page here. And we're gonna make three dots on our page, just like that. And if you've been on this series, you kind of know what we're doing here. I'm gonna to try to help you draw curve lines with three dots and two dots will just be straight lines. So it's kind of like doing your own dot to dot, except the three dot technique, you do a little bit more of a curved line as opposed to a straight line. So there we go. We'll just sort of connect these three dots there. That looks pretty good. Now, right here at this end dot, we'll go ahead and just continue it down with a straight line here, just a little bit further there. That looks pretty good. All right, now at this dot that we just made the straight line, we'll go back to the original dot. We'll put a dot here, a dot here, and a dot here, and we'll make a curve line just like that. There we go. And now down here, we'll just do a straight line. So you can see two dots and just kind of connect them just like that. And then at this point at the bottom dot, we'll make three more dots. Again, these are real close, but a short little curve line right about there. And then from this dot here to this, we'll put a dot here and a dot here, and make another curve line. We're starting to work on the bill of this uh, animal here. So that looks pretty good. Okay, so now we're going to start to project the bill out. So we'll get a dot, like three dots like that. And just kind of make them kind of curve down just like that. Looks pretty good. All right, so now at this dot here, we're gonna make three dots there. We'll start to curve this. Looks good. And then from this dot here, put a dot here and a dot there. And then we're starting to curve that as well. So they're called the duckbill platypus sometimes, you know, because of this obvious very duck-like bill. Of course, they're mammals and they're not uh, birds, but they do have a very bird-like, if you're familiar with uh, the ducks and the waterfowl, it certainly resembles that. Okay, that's looking pretty good. We'll go ahead and now we're going to make a dot up here. And from this dot, we're just gonna kinda connect that down just like that. That looks pretty good. All right, so we'll come back to put a couple nostrils on this uh, uh, bill. So we'll go ahead and put a dot just like this. I mean, sorry, circle, a little oval, and another one just like that. And these we can kinda color all the way in. They're just nostril holes. So there we go, and that's how it breathes. Uh, basically, sometimes it'll just surface briefly, get a little breath, and you won't see much of the animal, just a little bit of its bill breaks the surface to get a breath. Um, okay, so now we're gonna put a little bit of a crease here to do that. I'm just gonna make a curved line that's sort of inset in here. So, in fact, when I do it, it almost, if you see this, almost looks like a smile I just made here, uh, but that's the nostrils in the bill. So that looks pretty good. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and now come back over to the bottom part of the bill here, just right about here. We'll put a dot and we'll put a dot out here. Just draw a little bit of a straight line there and that looks all right. And then now we're going to make three dots. We use this one up here, this, see these three dots there and just kind of curve them nicely, just like that. And that's kind of part of the lower bill that you would see and then the rest of it's kind of shorter and underneath there. So, all right, that looks good. Now we're going to put a little bit of a smile here. 
Uh, it's a little bit of a tight space, so uh, maybe I'll put the eye on first and then I'll make it a little easier for you to see where we're going with that. I have a pretty small eye, but we'll go ahead and put that eye on here, right about there. And again, I like to color in some of that eye, but leave a little bit of the white of the paper to get that nice highlight. So that looks pretty good. All right, so right there is where his eye is. So I'm gonna actually from here, um, from this bill point, uh, that's gonna give you a little bit of the uh, relationship. You can now see the head. So we're gonna put the underside of the head on here. So from here to here to here, I've got three dots. And there we go, we'll just kind of bring those back around. That looks pretty good. And then I'm just gonna kind of give this guy a little bit of a smiley face here, coming off of that. A little bit of a dimpled smile there. So that looks pretty good. Okay, so there we go. We've got a head of our duckbill platypus coming together here. So now we'll go ahead and uh, put his backside on here. And to do that, I'm going to uh, put a dot over here, a dot over here, and a dot over here, make a nice curved line there. There we go. Start and put the neck and the bit of the back. Okay, and then from here, we're going to use this dot, dot out here, and a dot out here. And then we're just gonna kind of mark that back to the rear area of this animal. There we go, looks pretty good. And then we'll go ahead and uh, at this point, three more dots right about there just kind of curve that back that looks pretty good now for the tail we're going to be a little bit high up on here kind of run run a little tight on our page here so i'm going to put a dot out there a dot out there and a dot out there make a nice kind of curve line and then from this side, we'll go the other direction. And we'll kind of not quite meet that other one in the middle. We'll leave a little bit open. And then from here, we can just kind of connect that with the straight line. And maybe we'll make a little bit of scratch this in at the top, a little darker at the end of the tail there. Okay, so that looks pretty good. The tail's uh, put in place. Um, now let's go ahead and put on uh, let's go ahead and come back to the front here and let's put a little bit of the underside of the animal on here. There we go. Just another curved line there. That looks pretty good. So now we'll go ahead and put the arm on, the front uh, leg, sorry. So there's three dots there. We'll start this off. Now these animals are highly aquatic, so you're going to see as we're putting on this uh, arm here, or this foreleg, uh, we'll see that uh, it has uh, some webbed feet. So we'll do that in a moment. There's another three dots with a curved line. There we go, that's looking pretty good. So we'll go ahead and come back to the, the flippers or the, the paws on this, the webbed paws. So we'll go ahead and put this dot here, dot here, and a dot here. And then just kind of bring these for the belly there. Okay, that looks pretty good. And now we're going to kind of put the rear leg on here. So uh, we'll go ahead and make three dots. Use this end dot here. Just kind of bring this looking curve line looking downward here. That looks good. All right, so from the back of our rear, we're going to just draw a little bit of a subtle curve line. So there's three more dots using the end dot there. Okay, so there we go. And then we'll put a dot here to extend that off, just a straight line there to get a little more. So there we got the two foreleg, or foreleg and the hind leg uh, in place. Now we'll go ahead and sort of start these uh, digits. Now to do this, um, their, their digits are basically, you know, similar to ours, uh, not necessarily with an opposable thumb, but you know, they have five digits and then there's webbing in between them. So we'll go ahead and first just start creating the paw by putting, you know, three simple dots there for a little bit of a curve there. And then up on this side, we'll kind of do the same. And now we'll just sort of, you just want to watch me. I'm not going to use the dots for this. Just sort of put on making almost like V shapes. Okay. 
Okay, so I got four of them there. Sometimes some of them might not be in full view there, but there we go. Now we'll go ahead and just bring those together. If you want to do five digits, we'll make another one over here. There we go. We'll just kind of, and then I see that webbed foot there. So that looks pretty good. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and uh, come back to the hind flipper. And one of the things that's really kind of fascinating about these animals, and you kind of know what I'm doing when I draw dots here, so I'll just do, do that and talk about some of the facts of this animal. So what we know about uh, uh, this animal is a monotreme. So again, three dots, curved line. So monotremes are really primitive mammals. Um, and they're sort of, the uh, reason that they're primitive is that they kind of sort of transition from reptiles to mammals. Um, and one of the things that you kind of know about mammals is live birth. Uh, but that's not really true for all mammals because the first mammals, these early mammals, uh, the monotremes, actually are egg-laying mammals. So that's a pretty fascinating uh, feature about them. They actually lay eggs and the young are born or hatched from eggs. So that's not very mammal-like that we know of, at least from uh, being a placenta-based mammal. Uh, but uh, these guys are, you know, there's actually three sort of types of mammals. We've got the monotremes, these very early ones, and we also have the sort of also primitive or, you know, sort of transitional marsupial ones that, uh, you know, sort of use pouches to continue the development of the young. And then we have our, our sort of model, which is the, you know, placenta-based embryo model. And that's where you're born and fully, fully formed and there's no uh, more incubation period needed. Okay, so we've got this foot here that I started to draw. I started to give you some facts, so I slowed down there. But I'm going back to just those same sort of V shapes, you know, just kind of bringing them back down. Maybe there's one just slightly behind there. And then just kind of almost like connect the dots between them. There you go, you got your nice sort of different uh, webbed feeding there. So again, these webbed feet are very helpful for the animal to uh, swim in the water. It spends a lot of time in the water. We'll go ahead and put another forelimb. We'll just see a little bit of this one. So I've got a curved line going here. That looks pretty good. And then right off of the bottom of the head there, do another shorter curved line, bring out that other forelimb. And then this one will kind of make a short curved line right here as we get that paw into place. I'll do one up here, kind of get that paw into place. And then again, I'm just doing those quick V shape and I'll just kind of connect them and there we go so there we go we've got a nice uh, sort of little platypus sometimes these platypus uh, a lot of times you'll see if you look closely they have like almost like a little bit of a marking here right behind the eye it kind of tapers back so we'll kind of put that in just like that oh, that's pretty good so uh, tail might be a little bit bigger than that but you know and proportion of our space we did pretty good so a little bit of foreshortening there we can argue so that looks pretty good we've got a nice looking platypus uh very fascinating animal uh you know like i said sometimes you see him called the duck bill platypus for this obvious you know feature very unique animal almost looks like a menagerie or parts of another animals were all assembled into this very interesting animal but that's really how interesting adaptations go you know this animal transitioned from a reptilian type of model in a swampy area and it still sort of you know it spends a lot of time in its sort of rivers and streams and muddy ponds and that type of area so uh and now it's you know crossed over into that interesting group that's now we're a part of in the mammal area so we hope you enjoyed this video we'd love to see how yours turned out uh, if you would like you can post that online and share it with us using that hashtag minty sketch if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you'd like to be continue to be updated on future posts to this YouTube channel, go ahead and subscribe, and we'd appreciate that as well. So we look forward to seeing you back here again soon for another episode of How to Draw Awesome Animals with your friends at Peppermint Narwhal.